And developing at 5 o'clock, Georgia is seeing record high early voting. From News Chopper 2, we saw long lines in Gwinnett County today. So far, 573,000 people have voted statewide. That is almost the same as 2020, and that was during a presidential election and way above the 304,000 in 2018 when we had the last midterm elections. Channel 2's Richard Elliott is live in Lawrenceville with what this could mean for both parties. Richard. You saw it from the air. Let's look at it from the ground. Long lines at this location in Lawrenceville. We've seen them in other places as well. You know, there's a saying, you've heard it, Atlanta influences everything. Well, when you're talking about politics in America today, you can expand that to Georgia influences everything. That's Burt Jones, the Republican nominee for lieutenant governor, voting early in Jackson, about an hour south of Atlanta. He's facing Democrat Charlie Bailey. And this is Stacey Abrams, a Democratic nominee for governor, voting early in DeKalb County, just outside Decatur. She's facing Republican Brian Kemp. Georgia's seeing record early voting turnout, more than 533,000 as of Thursday, as voters on both sides are energized for their candidates and as both the Democratic and Republican parties doing the energizing. And there's a reason why... Uh, Georgia's is at the center of the political universe in this country. That's DNC Chair Jamie Harrison rallying supporters in East Point. Because you need to work as hard as you possibly can. You do not want to wake up and say woulda, coulda, shoulda. And that's RNC video of Republican Chair Rona McDaniel rallying supporters in Macon. Both parties are pumping hundreds of millions of dollars into Georgia because so much is at stake, and Georgians appear to be paying attention. I think voters in Georgia feel that urgency. They feel that uh, spotlight, this national spotlight, and people are really eager to go vote. KSU political science professor Kerwin Swint says historically high voter turnout favors Democratic candidates, but this year he says it could favor Republicans. Either way, he says expect to see the high turnout continue. I think we're seeing that. I think we're going to continue to see that. I, I really expect this to set a record for midterm elections in Georgia. And we're seeing that on the ground too, and here in Lawrenceville. We are less than 20 days away from the general election. We're live in Gwinnett County, Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News. And you